everybody, my name's Emma and I'm one of the instructors at Lord Bailey's Chester and Wirral. How are we all? I hope we're all doing really, really well um, and keeping safe and trying to stay positive. I know it's hard in this winter weather, but um, as promised, I know all of you wanted some practice at home with your teacher, so um, I'm going to do some things for chapter one today that you can practice. Then we're going to do some things for chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, and maybe combine some stuff and obviously some of the toddler stuff. So we're going to be um, filming some of that for you as um, the couple of weeks go on so you can practice. And I know some of you are struggling to remember the songs, so hopefully this will help you. Okay, so the first important thing when we're in chapter one um, is practicing our name, Are You Ready? Go. And the reason this is really, really important is because it teaches your baby two things. It's going to teach them when to hold their breath, okay, so that they go in, when they go under the water for a little swim, so that they learn to tighten their lips as they go under, okay. And the second thing is it's going to teach them the questions so that they can tell you whether they want to do it or not because we're baby led and we're never ever going to swim babies under the water unless they are happy. So if they ever indicate to us that they don't want to after that question, then obviously we wouldn't do it. So I've got my dolly because my daughter is 13 now, so she can't help me. Um, and we're going to practice it so that we can perfect this during lockdown because it is really important because if we don't do this skill correctly, then they're never going to learn when to hold their breath, okay? And then that's when they can get a little bit upset or they can come up coughing and spluttering. So we've got our little ones. Let's just see if we can... So we've got our little ones in the bath, okay? And we're going to say name are you ready go okay and then you pause and then you that's when you pour the water over your baby's face now the reason we say pause is because that's when your baby's going to learn to hold its breath so if you did name are you ready go and pour the water at the same time there was no pause there for them to then take their breath so if i just show you dolly are you ready Go. Give them lots of praise because you're teaching them something amazing, okay? Dolly, are you ready? Go. Good girl. Well done. Super. If they cry, then obviously just leave it, okay? And then try again the next bath time. But we'll aim to try and do at least three each bath time because that will really help. It's a huge water confidence exercise because they're having water poured on their face as well as learning that amazing skill that we teach them. Um, if you've seen some of our underwater photos from the December shoot, you can see the late baby's lips are tightly sealed. So that shows you that that little command stroke question is um, working, which is, it just fascinates me. 11 years on, it fascinates me. So if you did this, so let me show you the incorrect way. Baby, are you ready? Go. Oh, I went to do it correctly, sorry. Dolly, are you ready? Go. Dolly, are you ready? Go. There's no pause there at all for her to learn to take her breath, okay? So the correct way is always say it, pause, and then do the water, okay? So Dolly, are you ready? Go. Pause, and then that water goes over your baby's face and do a nice little gentle wipe down because that actually can help to stimulate them to take a little breath in because that's what we want them to do when they're practicing it. So, hope that helps guys, okay? And we're gonna do some songs as well. Okay, so we're gonna do some floating songs first. So, um, one of the songs that we do is see the little water baby sleep until it's noon, okay? So we just change the um, word slightly so it's a water baby's version. So we're going to have them nice and flat on their backs. So literally one hand underneath their um, bum, one underneath um, that cuts their head. And then you want to lie them nice and flat in the water so that they get used to being nice and flat and they get used to water being in their ears as well. And we're gonna sing, 
See the little water baby sleeping till it's noon. Shall we try and wake them with a merry tune? There they lie, stars float by. Shh, shh. And then we say, wakey, wakey. And what we can do is pop them onto their tummies to finish the song. Swim little babies on your tongue. Swim little babies, lots of fun. Kick, 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 kick. Super, well done. Our other floating song, of course, is Twinkle Twinkle. So again, you're going to be in the same position, so cupping their head, encouraging them to lie back flat in the water. The first baby sign that we teach our babies in chapter one is Twinkle, so thumb and two fingers. So you can get them um, less supported in the water, so just one hand under their head, okay? And then we can do our baby sign so that they get used to that as well. And we're just going to sing... Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Excellent, well done. And back up to sitting up. Super, let's do some more songs and activities. Okay, so some of the songs in chapter one is our famous splish splash song, okay? And you can do this at that time, just so that they get used to the song and you can practice as well. And you can just splash with your baby's hands. Sorry, you can't see very well. So you can get them to splash in the bath, or you can just wave the water as we're singing it. We're going to sing splish, splash, splish, splash, around in a circle and up in the air. Splish, splash, splish, splash, around in a circle. And we can go up in the air. Depends how heavy our babies are now. So that's our Splish Splash song. Also, we have got a bit of a tongue twister, which again, you can practice with your babies at that time, just so that they get used to the song. And babies love songs and singing and music, so it's really, really nice to do. So, are we ready? It's swimming around, swimming around, floating by, floating by, swimming and having some tummy time together. Having a lovely time, splashing and singing some nursery rhymes, swimming round, swimming round. And that's one of our songs that we sing in chapter one. So, next, what we're going to do is some back swimming. So, we're going to practice our back swimming. Um, the best way to do it is to be in the floating position to practice at that time, okay? So basically one hand under the head, one hand under the bottom if you like. If your baby's a bit older and they're starting to not like lying on their back, then this is really, really important to practice because at the end of the day, we've got to practice swimming on our backs as just as much as swimming on our front. So it is really, really important. So keep persevering because once they've started learning to sit up, naturally they are going to want to get back up again okay and they want to know what's going on be nosy around it's a it's a normal reflex to try and get back up again so just encourage that ears in the water lying back nice and flat and we're going to encourage our legs to kick at the end of the song okay so we're going to sing we are swimming on our backs on our backs on our backs we are swimming on our backs Flat in the water. And then we're going to say kick, 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 kick. Shall we do that one again? Ready? We are swimming on our backs, on our backs, on our backs. We are swimming on our backs, flat in the water. Kick, 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 kick. And really encourage those little legs to kick, guys. So, 
Also, so we can practice um, kicking our legs on our tummies as well. You can literally just pop your babies onto their tummies. The back is nice and shallow. I haven't got an awful lot of water in the back. Um, you can literally put, so it's like the seat hold. So you know when we go in the seat hold at bath time, uh, sorry, in class time, when the teacher's teaching you something new. So um, one hand would normally go over their bottom, one hand comes around the front, cups that um, armpit, so you've got hold of your little ones um, really well and safely and securely. And then you can just pop them on their tummies. Okay, and literally just like we do in class, you can say kick, 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 kick. That's one of the key words that we say when we're swimming around, so your baby soon learns that key word. So lots of kick, 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 kick while they're on their tummies. They can just be sat up at bath time and we can say kick, 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 kick. So again, we're trying to encourage those legs starting to move in chapter one, so that lots of kicking with their legs, okay? Okie dokie, so safety. So obviously safety is one of our biggest things as well in our lessons, so we want to teach them lots of water safety skills. So one of the things that we teach them is to how to hold on to the side for safety, it's because obviously if they ever fell in, we want them to be able to grab hold of something and hold on to it and build up their strength to be able to do that. So we've also been practicing what it feels like to fall into water, which is a little bit tricky at bath time. I don't think you're really going to be able to do that name or you really splash unless you've got a really huge bathtub. Um, and it, it, it's, a, it's maybe safety as well. But anyway, we can practice hold on, okay? We can do that really simply. Unless your baby is still really tiny, obviously they're not going to be able to do this. But if they are six months old and they're starting to pull themselves up on furniture and things, they can literally, obviously, get them to stand up in the bath. And you can literally, it's really hard with dolly, guys, so just bear with me. So you're going to put those hands tightly on and you can literally put your hand in front of baby's face so your hand is the cushion. So if they do fall forward, they're not going to um, hurt their faces on the side of the bath. And literally when they're on to the side, you can say, hold on, 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 hold on. Good girl, Dolly. And again, you know, all the things that we're doing, we're always giving them lots of praise because we're teaching them lots of amazing skills. So keep giving all that praise. Um, it's a little bit hard when you've got a dolly, so you do forget a little bit. But when you've got your real children in bath time, you're gonna give them loads of praise and encouragement. Um, okay, well, I hope that really helps you all. And um, we will be bringing some more stuff to you for chapter two, which obviously if you're in chapter one, you can still do some of that as well, so there's more songs to do. Okay then, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.